What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today guys it is Saturday, who knows what we are going to be getting for 6pm content today. Maybe a set of objectives, maybe an SPC of some sort, who knows what we're going to get. We're going to go check out, hopefully get something good, see if we can pack anything good at the end because there's definitely going to be promo packs, we all know that. With that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rate and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for more content like this. Plenty of content coming out over the next few weeks, I can guarantee you that. And with that being said, let's go hop into it. So then, here we go. Um, it is about to turn 6 o'clock. We are currently sat watching the Liverpool Spurs games. And Curtis Jones has literally just been sent off a mere two minutes ago. So you're not joining me at a very good point in my life, shall we say. But, um, yeah, obviously Road to the Knockout is here. We didn't go through all the cards yesterday. Uh, I know probably some people were like, oh, you didn't actually check the content. The problem is they were already out for like... I don't know, nearly 24 hours, so most people had already checked them, so that's why I personally didn't, but there's lots of good cards, EA aren't even showing us the cards right now, so that's so good, but obviously the one thing I do want to talk about, the women's pass to glory looks so much better for the knockouts, because she can get three upgrades instead of two, for about 16k for the card, I think it's for Hooth, is it, I'm pretty sure, um, it's a really, really good option to get a bit further into the club, Wolfsburg normally do pretty well, so definitely is going to help out with a fantastic save from Allison. So, it is 6pm. We are going to check our content. I'm going to go in and out. We always are going to have to do this now because for some reason the objectives don't update. Now, I have a feeling we might get something in objectives because I feel like it's been a day or two without getting anything. So, we may see like some sort of road to the knockout corp or anything like that. I'm not too sure. Um, a bit of XP wouldn't go amiss. We are just exactly on level 14, which is fantastic for us. So, what do we have? We have nothing new in terms of the live. We have nothing new in terms of the seasonal. Obviously, all of that came out yesterday, so that is no real shock. Do we have any more squad foundations? Yes, we actually do. Okay, wonderful. So, we have the Turkish League. We've got Orsic coming in. We have Samu Sayes, and we also have a Cherokee. Now, I think this guy had one last year, from what I remember. Uh, Two-star, four-star, not too bad. It's not a great card, but for Turkish League... First owner teams for Italy teams. It's not the worst thing in the world. Spanish midfielder. He is four star, three star for uh, says Again, not a bad little card in all honesty. If this was to come off the bench, it wouldn't be too bad. An engine on him would look really, really nice. Stamina is really good on him as well. And then we obviously have Orsic. Always getting a special card at some point throughout the year. Three star, four star. Not the worst thing in the world. Can play as a striker as well. Obviously, playing in Turkey now. He is Croatian, so that helps out a little bit. Um, a hawk on him probably, yeah, probably would be actually quite nice. A hawk on him. So, yeah. Not too mad in terms of what you need to do. Obviously, the typical playing with La Liga players. Sorry, not La Liga players. Playing with the Turkish League players. So, I presume we're probably also going to get an SPC for them. We do. Oh, okay. Not the SPC I was expecting, but we do get kudos. Obviously, the West Ham Road to the Knockout card. He can play on the right and as a cam. He is four-star, three-star. So, three-star weak foot isn't ideal. Um, probably a dead eye on him is what you're going to look towards. His dribbling's more than good enough. His pace is more than good enough. But the two key stats, obviously, with him going up the pitch, the, the shooting and passing definitely need a bit of an upgrade. Two segments for him. It's an 85 and an 86 rated team. This is expensive. Uh, considering he's only there for a week, obviously, we've also got Bruno Gamara's out as well right now. Not very cheap to do. We also get Leroy Fair coming in as another um, SBC to do, which is very nice. An 85 rated CDM. Obviously, he had a wonderful, I think... It was the purple card. It was a what-if card. And he got the upgrade in the first game with Feyenoord. And um, so he's obviously moved out. Three-star, four-star isn't too bad. Can also play as a centre-back, which is quite nice. Again, probably something like a catalyst or an engine on him just to improve a few bits. His balance is pretty low. So hopefully it's going to be cheap. I would suggest it would be an 84-rated team with an 86 in there as well. It's not too bad. I think by that you can do like five... If it's very similar to the Boniface, I think you can do 584s, 583s, and an 86 rated, which wouldn't be too bad to obviously help out. Promo packs today, we don't actually get anything. Um, somebody may need to check on EA just to make sure that they're okay, because um, that's unusual that we don't get any promo packs. It is the second day into the brand new game, but with the way things have been going recently, uh, it is no shock if we were to get it. So... To finish things off, I think we will open a pack. What do we have available to us? We got. Some, should we do with this? Luis Diaz has scored. Has he scored? No, he hasn't scored. Ignore me. Um, <laughs> he's offside. That is a shame. But to finish things off, I presume that is everything for 6pm content for today. Kudos and then obviously the squad foundations. Not too bad. Do not mind it whatsoever. Um, we take it. And then with that, a mega pack. 
can we finish off on something good? Yeah, it is. No. The Swiss centre mid. Uh, this is actually quite bad because I'm pretty sure it's Sal. Uh, by the looks of it, Diaz could be onside. Oh, it's a completely different card, but it's still only 80 rated. So, either way, not really getting in any luck. Let me know down below if you've packed any other road to the knockouts. Are you doing the squad foundations? And with that being said, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.